Water scarcity is one of the greatest challenges the world faces now and in the future. Delivering technologies to efficiently recover high volumes of desalinated potable water is a key focus. One technology we use for this purpose is electrodialysis. When salts dissolve in water, they are broken up into individual ions. The positively charged ions, like sodium, are called cations, and the negatively charged ions, like chloride, are called anions. These ions move freely through the water as individual atoms. Depending on the source of the water, the concentration of salts and minerals can be too high for drinking water, industrial use, or irrigation purposes, and it becomes necessary to remove the salt. The process of moving salts from water is called desalination. When electrodes are placed in water with dissolved ions, those ions move by electrical attraction. The negatively charged anions moves to the positively charged anode, and the positively charged cations move toward the negatively charged cathode. Electrodialysis is an advanced membrane technology that utilizes this ion movement to desalinate water. In electrodialysis, the ions move through selective ion exchange membranes, which only allow either cations or anions to pass through them. By alternating these membranes with spacers between them, it creates two separate streams, a desalinated stream and a concentrated salt stream. In addition to using electricity to remove salts from water, electrodialysis reversal, or EDR, also uses electricity to clean the electrodialysis cell. In normal use, hardness, scaling, and fine organic material can accumulate on the membrane surface. But by reversing the flow of the applied direct current, salts and organics are driven back into solution and cleaned off the membrane surface. This self-cleaning procedure helps provide consistent, high recovery of desalinated water from brackish water feeds. An electrodialysis stack consists of many cells of membranes and spacers placed between two electrodes. One of each type of membrane and one spacer for each stream are placed together in a cell pair, which repeats hundreds of times to build a full EDR stack. This module is then used in a complete system to produce the flow rate and salt removal needed. We place several stacks in a line to deliver the needed desalination level. Each of those lines of stacks can treat a particular flow rate. Several lines in parallel can be placed to achieve the total required flow rate. With variation of stages and lines, the system has the flexibility to meet a wide range of desalting needs. EDR has found great success in a variety of applications, including high silica-laden waters and tough-to-treat waste waters. With the reversal process, EDR can achieve higher recoveries than conventional RO technology, making it a great option for water-scarce areas. Long membrane life and low chemical consumption help keep operating costs down. In most EDR applications, membranes will last 10 to 20 years. Together with low maintenance requirements, the benefits make EDR a great technology of choice for desalting needs.